themed. And with we, my pipe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is your hand your pipe yes. now? <laughs> with, uh, and, and we are making Eggs Benedict Cumberbatch! Because he's wonderful. <laughs> he is. And he and would do that. he's in Sherlock, obviously. And yeah. if you haven't seen the show, you really should, because it's amazing. It is. It really amazing. amazing. It's great. So, first we're going to start with ingredients. Mm -hmm. And um, so what is our, our first ingredient here? Well, the most important thing, of course, is eggs. Because, okay. you know, it's Eggs Benedict. Already Cumberbatch. And how many do we need? Uh, we need three for the hollandaise sauce, and then you're also going to have two for the poached eggs. Or you could have four if you have someone over. All right. Or more. <laughs> and our next ingredient is for the hollandaise sauce. A lemon. All righty. So another a lemon here. Not another, just one. Just one lemon. Anyway. You don't need a lot of lemon, yeah. really, honestly. <laughs> and then butter already melted. And how much butter? One stick. One stick of yes. butter. Okay. And that's good for two people. For, you know, if you want more, then you can double it. And then the next ingredient is uh, some Dijon mustard. Mm. I know it's French, but whatever. And how much of the Dijon do we need? It's gonna be just like about a quarter of a teaspoon. And then pepper. Just sprinkle however much you want. Or if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. All right. And this is what adds the, the spice kick, actually. to the Cumberbatch, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So only about two, three dashes of Tabasco sauce will do it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to measure anything, just like boop, boop, boop. Cool. And then, of course, it wouldn't be an English breakfast without English muffins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to also, uh, we're going vegetarian style on this. And if you want, you can always add ham or bacon, which is traditional. Or if you don't eat red meats or pig, you can go with the, the salmon, the smoked salmon. Yes, it's really good. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Add delicious things. Tell us in the comments yeah. what you added what to else? it. What else? Exactly. So we are going to make it in three easy steps. And step one is we are going to make the hollandaise sauce, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, how do you pronounce it? Because I pronounce it. I think it's hollandaise, but I didn't do my homework. Hollandaise. Homework. Hollandaise. Oh, she says holidays. Holiday. But it's Hollandays. At I'm, least I'm, I think so. But if you're British and you're offended right now, just yeah, yeah. just deal with it. We're American. Anyway. We're American. <laughs> America. American. So the first step is to actually oh, uh, well no, it's okay, we're gonna use that. Is to uh, take the uh, yolk away from the whites. Okay. Which can be a little tricky if you're not used to it. And sounds racist. It does, but what do you do? All right, so we're going to crack the egg. We gotta be careful. So you're gonna so see that you wanna keep the yolk inside the shell, get mm -hmm. all that white out there. And you basically, until most of the white is gone, you just do this back and forth. Just be careful not to puncture the yolk with the eggshell, which I probably was just about to do. Then you add it to the bowl. Okay, and now there's two more to go. So now we have the yolks in the in the bowl, bowl the mixing bowl. Now what do we do? All right, so we're gonna um, add the uh, Dijon mustard, mm. which is about, you know, I get a little bit more than a quarter teaspoon because, you know, it's just good, but mm, it's tasty. It's delicious. There, that's, that's good enough. All right, and that's done. So put that aside and then the next step is the lemon. All right. So you're gonna want, like I said, about a tablespoon of lemon. Mm -hmm. So can, that is also about half a lemon. Is that yeah, what you're measuring a, it? Yeah, I'm measuring it this time, but it's about a half a lemon, just to just to show you. See? Yeah. So you know, depends on the size of your lemon too, but you don't want to over lemon it because then it's just not as good. And it's lemony snicket. It's very lemony snicket. Then we'd have to change the whole theme. Yeah. All right, and then the next step here is uh, use the little whisk here. And for you guys at home that have a blender that you can add things to, unlike a bullet blender that I have, uh, you can use that. Otherwise, you can use something like this. All right, blend it is the step. <laughs> So you just want to blend it a little bit until it, you know, is all blended together. And the next step 
it is to add the butter. Mm. Mm. And uh, how much butter was that again? It was a stick. A stick. A whole stick. Whole stick. Okay. It's a dangerous dish, guys. Yeah. All right. So that's why uh, it's holidays. You eat it on the holiday, right? <laughs> All right, so if you don't mind putting it down, I know it's harder, okay. but it, it's a little easier to do this because you got to add the butter slowly. So a nice stream. So you'll start seeing seeing it thicken and you know, you might want to wear an apron like we didn't, <laughs> but that's okay. It's... Or you can use a human shield. But you could do that. Anyway, so you're gonna to wanna to keep blending until it starts to thicken a little bit. So now we finished our Hollandaise sauce. <laughs> and it should look something like this. And if you wanna try it, Ash, yeah, try a little oh, bit. Okay. Let's see what she thinks. Mm. I hope it's good. Mmm. This is good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. It is really good. Yeah, it tastes so. just like hollandaise sauce. Exactly. I hope. I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to transfer this into a nice pouring dish. You can use the same one as your butter or a different one. All right. Oh yeah. All right. The next step is we're gonna poach the eggs, and Alita's gonna do that at the stove. All right. So for the next step here, we're going to poach the eggs and you're gonna want to have a pan of water and it's gonna wanna be about boiling almost. Like simmering, huh, heat it up. And then you wanna put vinegar in it. I mean, you don't have to put vinegar, it's up to you, but it kinda keeps the egg whites together so they don't go all over the place. So now that the water is nicely simmering here, I'm gonna crack the egg, the first egg in here. And gently put it in so doesn't go all over the place. And then the second one. There we go. And you probably, depending on how much it's going, you probably want to turn it down slightly so it's not boiling too much. And then you just kind of let it sit here for a little bit. And what I like to do sometimes is just kind of like make sure it doesn't stick to the pan, depending on the kind of pan you have and you just wait until it's cooked over and sometimes to help it along I like to take a little spoon here and cover it because you can put these directly all the way in water or you can do partial water it kind of keeps them together a little easier so they don't go all over the place and boil everywhere which you shouldn't if you do it right all right and the eggs are done poaching and so uh, we're going to put together the english muffins uh, by the way, they take about five minutes to finish poaching, so, all right. Okay, and now we are ready for step three, which is assembling the Eggs Benedict Cumberbatch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to assemble an Eggs Oh Benedict? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what we want to do is we want to take the eggs and take the fork mm -hmm. or your hands, and then you got to put them nicely onto the Eggs muffins. The toasted, we toasted yes. them. They're toasted. Of course, you can not toast them. Who does that? <laughs> Silly. All right. And then the next step is to put a little bit of pepper, mm. or however much you want. I love pepper. Optional. Yeah. Okay, it's optional. <laughs> and then you can add just a dash of some Tabasco. Mm. This is what makes it hot. Spicy. See, like that. Cumberbatch is pretty spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the final step is to take our lovely Hollandaise, not mm. holiday, sauce and pour it over. Mm. And since we're only making two, you should have enough for some later. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Mm. I just pour it in my mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then for the one more final thing we need to add. Oh yes. Our <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch faces. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. And that is Eggs Benedict Cumberbatch. All right, let's taste it. Yep. Okay. Right. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh, this looks messy. Oh no, Benedict. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's really good. <laughs> really good. And that's a simple way to make Eggs Benedict Cumberbatch. 
without the Cumberbatch. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and always remember to subscribe for more if you want to see more. We have some Game of Thrones themed stuff coming up soon. That's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, We're also going to probably do a London Fog mm -hmm. to add to this lovely dish. So check that out. Yeah, it will pair nicely. Mm -hmm. A delicious breakfast mm -hmm. for you. Yep. Alright, bye! bye. See you guys!